Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I'm going to start off by thanking everyone who had some consideration and support for my previous footage. I just needed to make sure that all the people watching have some form of satisfaction about it and such. And for those who are new, I am... I am, uh... I have high-functioning autism, I am obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make a new universe in order to at least try to be just as blessed as Stan Lee was. For this footage here, I'm going to introduce a new character known as Optic. So if you guys bear with me, I'll try my best to stay comprehensible for you guys, and hopefully you could keep up while I read this and such. So, here it is. Optic number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 23rd, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we find ourselves absorbing, observing a graduation ceremony for the high schoolers. One of them is a girl with bright green eyes, flowing strawberry blonde hair, and appears very youthful. This story is particularly about her. Her name is Summer Scotts. A week after the graduation ceremony, Summer was walking down a public sidewalk when she saw a four-year-old boy about to get rammed by a chemical truck. She successfully saved the child from the impact, but ended up getting a gallon of unknown chemicals splashed onto her face, blinding her for two weeks. After those two weeks, she awoke in her apartment room and found that she could see again, but when she looked into her bathroom mirror, she screamed in terror as she saw a sinister-looking third eye on her forehead. It was a bloodshot color, with vertical eyelids, and moved independently from her normal eyes. When she was able to speak after the shock, she said to herself in concern, I have a third eye. It's Hideous. She then heard a knock on her apartment door with a masculine voice saying, Summer? Summer? Are you in there? She then gasped as she recognized it as her boyfriend Ryan. Oh no, you can't see me like this. Ha! Ah, towels! And she wrapped some towels around her head to cover her new eye. When she opened the door, we see that Ryan had blue eyes, scraggly brown hair, and dressed as a literal jock. After a few minutes of reasoning, Ryan tried to take the towels off her head and ended with a shocked face as he, sh as he saw her new eye. No, Ryan, nothing like that. Ryan! And she fled, and he fled from her, from the apartment door screaming, and Summer never saw him again. Her next-door neighbor, an elderly cameo woman, started screaming at Summer and went to call the police. Worried that she'll get rejected by everybody, Summer went to her laptop and learned that it's known as a Balor's Eye, which possessed a variety of optical-based powers. When the police finally arrived in the room, Summer used her Balor's eye and stopped them in their tracks, hoping she could reason with the cops. She then heard from one of their walkie-talkies that there's a gang fight happening downtown, and Summer decided to put her new eye to good use. When she finally got to Times Square, Summer was using the optical powers that she could think of at the time. When she finally defeated the gang of thugs, the crowd around her cheered for her victory. She then felt a large hand on her left shoulder and saw that Pym arrived to have a private talk with her. Summer Scots, I'm pleased that you've used your Balor's eye for the sake of all innocence. I say that a good name for you would simply be Optic, and I promise that you will be an awesome hero from this point on. Cross your heart? Summer asked. All three of them, Pym said with a promising smile. Afterwards, 
Optic would do anything to protect the lives of others from any threats she could handle. After getting some martial arts training from Sight, the blind martial arts instructor from China who taught the heroic Madame Shear, she became more successful than she would ever expect before. The end. Well guys, I hope you appreciated the story. And I apologize if I stumbled a bit when I was reading it. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's all on you. And I'll be trying my best to stay efficient in the long run when it comes to the stuff that I introduce. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys had a fine time with this footage and such. And until next time, end transmission.